Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video. How to day trade any market, any time frame, whether it be futures, Forex or stocks. Now today was CPI Tuesday. So we saw some big market moves, but also that can give you a lot of challenges as you lead up to the announcement. The market can go very, very quiet. So I'm gonna be showing you some trades that I took just before and going before my live trading room and also going into my live trading room. Now, here I had five winning trades out of five. Now, one of them was a little scalp and I'll explain why I exited that trade very early. Now here, was only $117.50 gross, but after commissions, $106. Before you go, you can't make money on $106. I don't know, it might've been 30, 60 minutes worth of work, but you go and apply this to 10 or 20 contracts. You see, most of my members and most traders that I trade, I'm uh, sorry, train, I should say, are starting off with small accounts. And if you have a large account and are already experienced, you can start trading multiples like 10. Well, actually, if you're trading 10 micros, you're better off trading one big contract. Likewise, you wouldn't really be trading here, generally speaking, that is 20 micros. What you do is you probably trade two big contracts. You see, the micro contracts are 10% of the value and the size of a big contract. So this can be a great way to get your day trading career started. So I'm gonna explain this in a whole lot more. I promise you, I'm gonna share a couple of things with you that you're probably not gonna see anywhere else in a moment. So hang on round. First of all, there is a risk in trading. You do not trade with money that you can't afford to lose. And the great thing about trading today, you can start on every trading platform on a simulator. And most of them are very, very accurate nowadays as far as they're fairly realistic with entries and exits. So start there before you go live. Now, please subscribe to my channel so you can click on the uh, little red button, I think it is. Uh, and you can also download my free training manual, getting started as a day or swing trader. And on top of that, in the, the box below, you can also request my free compound trading income calculator. Now, the video that's attached to that, I'm gonna do a more recent one, but there's, it's perhaps, getting along a little long in the tooth, but it'll tell you halfway through how to actually use the calculator, because this is very important. You've got to remember traders that trading is a business. And unfortunately, traders don't want to hear that. And that's why there's less than 5% of traders consistently make money. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, basically you can day trade uh, any market, any chart type, any market, any time frame using the exact same strategies and techniques as shown today. Now, I mentioned we're going to be looking at the micro NQ. Here's what most educators, uh, most trainers don't want you to see because I want to make it out that everyone can get trading, say the big contracts, the ES or the NASDAQ or oil with only a few thousand dollars. Yes, you can. However, you're more likely to lose your capital. What's very important is you never ever risk any more than 2%. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the 12 tick micro NQ. And you will see here that I've got here that if you risk $18, you need at least, and that would be sort of the average stop loss here, you need $900. I'll round it up as you'll see in a moment to $1,000. And so down here, you can get going with really around $700, but what you'll find, and I'll show you in a moment, that if you're trading the eight tick uh, micro NQ, that can be very fast at times. So uh, between realistically the eight and the 12 tick, once you get into the New York session, it can really speed up, okay? And so you're generally looking at the 16 tick. But of course, what I'm gonna show you is how you can also become very wealthy over time. And as you've heard me say probably many times if you've watched my videos, get rich slowly because what I can show you here in my spreadsheet is that if you say 
Here I'm saying you need 900. Let's raise it up to a thousand, little buffer. Go for a target of $50 a day. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in a moment. You have the potential within 18 weeks of earning $10,000 a week and your capital has grown to nearly $50,000. And once again, I know many of you have seen this video, you only, this, this chart before, you only start trading a second contract each time you increase your account by $1,000. So the bottom line is we're using the market's money. Now, you might have 10,000 and what you might say is, okay, in eight weeks time, I've mastered uh, raised setups. I'm very confident. Now I'll start trading a big contract but it's great to, to really, to break yourself in, to get to know the markets, make all the mistakes you're gonna make on a micro before you go to the big contracts. So whatever your target may be, but this is very important, look at your account size growing here, right? On $50 a day. And we'll be, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. What is also very, very important, if you're new today trading, Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. This is the fatal mistake that so many traders make. They try to take two biggest steps right at the outset. They get basically greedy. And in a way it's not the trader's fault because there's so much false information out there on the internet, uh, in YouTube, about the fortunes to be made day trading. Yes, you can make a fortune but you've got to master the basics first and you've got to be capitalized. Once again, this is a business. Now also the best way to master the art of day trading is to be trading initially with the trend only. Now, I can't remember now, but there could be a counter trend trade or two in what I'm about to show you, but there are a ton of trading of trend trades at the same time. Okay, so I will point those out as we go through that as well. Now, something else that's uh, really important here is if you're a brand new trader or if trading hasn't been kind to you, I would estimate that probably at least 70% of the traders that come to me have had challenges mastering the art of day trading. And one of the best ways to help them come over their insecurities or the psychological damage is sheets like this is we get them undertaking one, two, three, four trades a day and we then have them increase the amount that they're trading. Now, what we're after here, as you're going to see in a moment, we're after four net trades a day. That's all we want, sometimes three. Three to four net trades a day if you're a day trader. And as you'll see in a moment, you can get very, very wealthy out of that. Now you might be a scalper and want to undertake or take a lot more than that. So I've got all the tools that I give, we've got both electronic, so if you like to use spreadsheets and we've got all of the manual spreadsheets that you can use to enter your trades, the comments, etc. as you go. Now what is very important is you understand what I'm about to show you. We're going to be looking at the micro NQ today. And we're gonna be looking at what we call the 12 tick Renko. Now you can apply this to Renko charts, to tick, to time-based charts, to volume. It really doesn't matter. The exact same principles apply, except what I love about Renko, particularly for newer traders, is it's very easy to set your targets and I'll explain it when we get there in a moment. But each step is worth $3 or, $30 on the big contract. Now, if your target is $50 a day on the micro, that would be 500 a day on the big contract. How do we achieve that? Well, all we need, and I will show you this in a moment, is three seven step trades a day. And you might wanna write that down, that's your two Bs. So three of those a day or four smaller trades a day. After commissions, that will still easily net you $50 a day. Now, if we then say jump up a time frame, that is when we head into the New York market, we generally find that it's moving a lot quicker. Okay, and so we wanna trade a larger time frame. Now, because I have more capital involved, 
per contract. Of course, uh, you might be trading big lots. You'd need realistically 13 to 14 thousand dollars, or micros are uh, 1300 to 1400. So we want to earn a little more rather than 50 dollars a day. Let's go for 70 dollars a day. Okay, so uh, and the moves, all the steps are larger. You will see this what I mean on the charts in a moment. Now, I also are going to be sharing with you a number of things here that others will not show you because it may be initially a little confusing. Don't be fooled by that. It's a little bit like driving a stick shift or a manual car initially. Okay, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. But it's very, very important you really know what's involved in day trading. So, traders, let's go uh, to the charts here and I want to start to explain some setups. Now please once again make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you download my training manual and the Excel spreadsheet. We might even refer back. Oh we'll just see how we go for time here actually. Okay so this is um, uh, the evening before CPI. So this is actually night before last uh, where I am, my part of the world and this is uh, what we call a T 20. Now, remember I mentioned about steps. You want five or seven steps. These are what I mean about the steps. Okay, so each step here on this time frame is worth $3. If we had the big contract up, as I mentioned, each one of these steps would be $30. Now, on the big contract. Now, what we want to have is at least three seven step trades a day. That is where we go down from our entry. Uh, uh, seven steps. Now, when I trade, I like to trade multiple contracts, but take half off at five steps and the others at seven. I'm terrible at trailing, okay? I prefer to get that cash register ringing as soon as possible. And yes, you can look back on the chart sometimes and say, look at all that that I left on the table, you can do that. But on the other hand, it's from a psychological point of view, it's good to get Get really to get in the trade, get out of the trade and um, to bank those chips. So some things I want to share with you. First of all, this is what we call a T20-1, a very, and all of my setups are all patterns. And that makes it so much easier to learn. And as Mark Douglas says in his great book, The Disciplined Trader, if you're going to learn how to master the art of day trading, you want to learn strategies that are pattern based. So these clearly identify reversals. But this is the first thing I want to share with you. So what we've got here is the entry chart. If I go over here now, I've now got an anchor chart one. So I trade with multiple time frames. Now this doesn't take, it just takes maybe 10 to 15 hours of screen time when you start, it really starts to seep in how to do this. But see this where it says T12. Okay, this is what we call a T12 setup. And you may notice I, I've got uh, cheat sheets with full explanations of what these are, but it just makes it a lot easier to give them a code rather than typing in um, while we're trading or on the chart exactly, you know, for a big long name of it. What I want you to notice here is that this is what we call a 200 EMA overshoot on the entry chart. Normally, we wouldn't even give that a second thought as a trade. But look over at your anchor chart one. I've got a bounce, an EMA bounce on my higher time frame. The T12s on the high time frames absolutely kick butt, and you get them, and you'll probably see three or four in a row just over an hour or two, which will go through very, very quickly. All right, so they work an absolute treat. Then we've got this lower high. Okay, so you had a nice little five to seven move. Now, just to also show you this, you're not entering until the fourth candle. Now, these are actually called Rinko bricks. I just call them candles, okay? So you're not going to be in until just below the third, maybe halfway through the fourth candle, just so you know that. And that white paint, uh, paint bar, that's my super scalper alert. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we are straight away. Um, uh, you romp your seven steps in, what I call seven. Now, seven steps here is 
21, oh, sorry, a seven step move is $21. Three of those is 63. You go, if you're going for your larger targets, as you can see, you only need two 10 step trades a day to hit that. Once again, traders, a 10 step trade, or if you're um, earning $50 a day, okay, and remember this is the calculator you can get free with the little video how to use it. You have the potential of earning in 18 weeks, 10,000 a week, and your account has grown from one, grown from 1,000 up to 48,000. There's nothing else like this opportunity if you do it correctly. So remember here, we're after either three seven step trades a day or four seven, sorry, four five step trades a day. Let me get that right, sorry about that. All right, so now we come down and I just wanted you to remember the term here, follow the gold. See my gold EMA just there? So one of the easiest rules can be follow the gold. So we had a uh, we had a trade uh, right there. And that's what I call a 34.13 by the way. Now there once again, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, you easily got your seven steps. Now we had a little glitch there and that is, See that blue line there? That's called a floor pivot. That's the R3. Now, as price pulls back, so you can see there we had a uh, slight retracement there, a little pullback. We'll see what um, happens just here. Uh, okay, little glitch, and we're about to uh, go a little higher here. Now we've got another setup here. Now, this is another 2B. Okay, now two Bs are where we get the larger moves generally. Now, a little complication with this one. See how we've gone from what we call having an orange cloud? Well, you had it there, but notice how it then turned orange. That usually means we've got a deeper retracement. So when you start to pull back like this, we wanna be a little more cautious with our entries. Now on this one here, uh, one, two, you only picked up five steps. And by the way, our break even is five steps. Okay, so each time you move down five on your matrix or your dome, you'll have it coded in there, but it takes you to break even. Very, very important. Now. The other thing here is that I won't get into pivots and open high, low and closes, but I'll explain some of these as we go. Right, so now this is midnight, by the way. So this is after midnight. Now we're looking at what we call the globe accession. The market's open 23 hours a day. So we now rally up for a high, for a higher high. So here we had a higher low higher high and that trade is what we call the footprints to a trend when we start to get higher highs and high lows. Now what I want you to do, oh no look I'll ex explain the 34 13s, your best trades for a new trader, there's one setup, well actually this may be two setups, the 34 13s and the two Bs are the ones I want you to really master initially. Now just there, here is actually a loss. Uh, so let me just show you this. So why was that a loss? I'm just gonna confirm this with you. Come on, why is that not coming up? Here it is, come on. Just see if I can get it up on another window here. Here it is. All right, so on the candle there, see this candle here? On the NQ, where's my stop loss goes? Actually, there's three, three major things we wanna know when we have a trade. Where do I enter the trade? Where do I put my stop loss and where is my target? Well, my entry is going to be um, uh, generally on in the fourth candle. Now I won't get into all the reasons why, but just above the high of the super scalper, the third candle there. Now my stop loss on this market, I want to have two ticks below, okay? I want to have two ticks below. Now I can enter, on the first candle. Okay, see down here, this is called a slingshot. I don't wanna confuse you too much with that right now. So you can enter earlier, but the lower that candle there was 27.50. And what I was looking at over here, the lower of that candle was 27. If you had have taken that 34.13, you would have been stopped out by one tick. This is one thing we see quite often on the NQ, on this market. 
I used to call it the nasty NAS, the nasty NASDAQ. And if you're into neurolinguistic programming, NLP, I decided to reframe the name. I now call it the nifty NAS. So there you go, I call it the nifty NAS. And the reason being, the NASDAQ um, uh, has some great moves but it can come back and you've got to watch it. You've got to always stand guard and you'll get lots of little pullbacks like that, which will come back a couple of ticks or one tick and test your low. You see on most markets, if you're going to put your stop below a swing low or above a swing high, we'd usually go one tick above, okay? So if you're, depending where you entered that trade or how you reacted was whether that was a loss or a small profit or a break even. Now, one thing you must know with every trade is what's in front of me. Now, just above there, we've got two things happening. First of all, that green line there, that is the high since midnight. That's what we call the, um, uh, the I'm interested in the low since midnight and the high. And just above, I've got the R1, midline pivot. These pivot magnet trades, which we're, I think we're about to have kick butt big time. They're on average a 90% trade. With the trend, when you're trade trading with the trend into a pivot, you've got to be with the trend. Okay, you go up there and you kiss it time and time again. Now, what I've got just here, let me expand this chart now. I've got a 2B and let's just see. So you can actually, this is a loaded trade and bang, we hit the pivot. Okay, we got a little bit of a bounce there and are we about to come back down here? Probably, so we're about to come back down here. Uh, no, no, we're still going, okay? So up we come. So just up here, now I've got what we call a T3. I won't get too much into a T3, but a T3 um, is a reversion or a, uh, a reversal trade. Don't, doesn't have to go too far, but there are a very high probability trade to pull back to the gold here, as you can see here. And with uh, a T3, quite often we don't have any divergence, but they kick butt really well, they kick butt. All right, so here, just there, I've got another uh, retest about to come up. You see pivots and your days high and low when you're trading with the trend are what we call price magnets. Okay, so if you're trading, bang. Note here how we punch through by just a few ticks. Now let me speed this along a little bit because I want to get to where we were, the trades we actually took. Otherwise, uh, I'll be here for probably the next half an hour. So. Uh, 2 a.m. So let me just quickly go through this. So 3 a.m. is where we want to get to. And that's 4 a.m. Uh, where are we here? So 4 a.m. Eastern. Now, let me just start show you again. You've got to see this because um, these are things that where you can make an, it just increases your win-loss ratio incredibly. See here, I've got T12 question mark. So uh, I was doing something at the time. So getting ready for our session, I put in there, I wasn't sure if it turned into a T12. Then we did have another T12. So let me show you once again, these T12s. So see here, once again, major EMA bounce, a little further along, another major EMA bounce. Now that may not look like much, but then it takes off. What we do in here traders on an entry chart, we've got a pullback, but then we're trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Now, after 10 to 20 hours of having this explained, it's it's simple. All right. It's not easy because you've got to follow the rules, but it is pretty simple. All right, so now we're rallying up. Now see this here, so this is our first trades about to come in. So this is uh, 3 a.m. Uh, so up here, we've now got um, uh, what we call angulation. Angulation's very, very simple concept. See over here, you had angulation, that was a T3. This is going to be a T3 as well. Whenever you see price action, moving away at a strong angle like that. We call that angulation. 
Okay, and these make fantastic reversal trades generally. Okay, and there's some rules that we follow on here. Now on this one, I actually got in quite late. I didn't get in until here. I was actually a good one or two steps. Remember, it doesn't matter what time frame we're trading, we just refer to these as steps. Just makes it easier. Okay, so here I jumped in and I decided to take both contracts off at plus five rather than one off at plus five, one at plus seven. Now we can see here it did then continue, which is fairly typical for a T3. But because I got in so late, I thought, mm, let me just start take my profits. Now, as we're coming down like this with any trade, see here that blue line, that's a floor pivot. We bounce off floor pivots because we trade them every day. Floor pivots are traded by professional traders and see over here, pivot bounce. Here we finally went through, see up here, see that blue line here? And the beautiful part is, these all plot automatically. Um, so that actually it's not blue, it's really cyan line. That's the prior day's high. Little overshoot and come through. And we these act as price magnets and we bounce off these all the time. So let's come on down here. So here we ended up having, ah, that's trade one, sorry. And then we had trade two. And that trade two is what we call a T20-1, kind of why, very simple trade. Now this one here, I only took as a scalp and let me show you why. What was below me that decided, that, that had me say, okay, I'm gonna get out of this trade fairly quickly. Look over here. What was I selling back into again? I was selling back into my 200 EMA. So that becomes a price magnet. So it, my price is attracted to it, but then I know I'm going to bounce off that level. So I that's trade to into it, but then I took the reversal off it. Now, let me just show you this for a moment. One of the things here is we've got a, a, a saying, do I have a fanning of the EMA? See that there, they're fanning, they're fanning. When you start to see your moving averages come together like this, this is where you've got to be a lot more cautious, they're intertwined. Now I went long here and finally I broke out, okay? And the first target I got was my five steps and I decided to get out with my second target at only really four and a half steps and it didn't go too much further just because that took about 30 minutes and I thought, mm, I'm not gonna muck around with this. So that was trade number three. Now I'm getting ready for my coaching session, okay, at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Eastern. So I went out to get my green tea and why am I getting my green tea? Bang, I missed this 2B. And for members watching this, this is just your classic 2B, okay? so. Uh, in this case, if you're selling in support, but here we were buying away from it. And so that was just a beautiful uh, 2B setup just there. Okay, now I'll move this along because then I had over here a 3413, which I've referred to a few times now. Now remember, these are rules-based entries based upon some simple rules, what's happening on your entry chart and your anchor chart one usually. So just there, I took this trade, but I also got out of it very, very quickly. Why? This trade is, is what I call a PM trade or a pivot magnet trade. Even though uh, that sign line, the prior day's high is not technically a floor pivot, it behaves like one. Okay, so when you take a trade here, time and time again, yes, you might punch through, but quite often we will bounce and look at that there. We bounce straight off it, okay? So I got out, I covered dumb commissions, made a couple of ticks out of that, okay? So I wasn't stopped as in being stopped out there. Here's my entry, so I got out there. But this is what you've always got to look at. Now, just go through the, the entry rules. So <clears throat> my entry rules just above the third candle. We could have got in earlier, by the way, on the slingshot. 
Where's my stop loss go? Two ticks below the low. Where's my exit? Your exit is always going to depend on what's in front of you. Do you have a brick wall such as pivots? Well, here I decided to take this out. Now, in this particular case, this is a really good example of stop losses. Now, see the low of that candle. The low of that was uh, 54. The low of this one over here was 54.25. In fact, if I stayed with the trade and kept my stop loss two ticks below, I would have been okay. Come down and then I had what we call a 2B setup and away I went. Okay, we got through the pivot. Now the reason I was happy to go with this is the trend was up. It was a 2B and that was trade number five. Then we had um, T19, 2D and away we went from there. Now the end result with that traders is that was uh, over and done with, what was that? Let's just go back to that. That was um, over and done with in, what's that? Uh, that's say 2.30, right? That's 90 minutes I've wrapped my trading up. Now on top of that, I was trading the 12 tick. That time of day, I could have been trading the eight tick, which would have given me more potential trade entries. So, if you remember up here, I said, okay, we had uh, $106. Now that is that $50 per contract that we're after. Okay, that's sort of the target on the eight and 12 tick, $70 if you're trading a higher time frame. Traders, this is not rocket science. It's about really getting some screen time. And fortunately, okay, not being rocket science, anyone can learn this providing you've got some patience, okay? When I say patience, we've got to change from, you know, chasing the trades, we've got to wait for the trades to come to us. So traders, you can join my program and also attend eight live two hour coaching sessions for only $197. Traders, this is a gold mine of information here, right? I don't charge for indicators, there's dozens of it, there's just over 200 hours of online training. If you want to watch them all, you don't have to. Um, and what we do is we start you off um, using the Goldilocks rule. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. So make no mistake, this is a $10,000 program or for 197, you have lifetime access to my program. That includes any updates. Now as a bonus, you can also attend the eight live coaching sessions where you can type in questions where I'm explaining the setup step by step. Now, there's a ton of recorded sessions as well. And likewise, if you can't attend the live sessions, you can watch the recording. Then after the first month, if you decide to, you can then attend for only $97 a month. But that's an option you can sign up for. So it's only $197. This is the last program you'll ever need to invest in. So thank you traders, make sure you subscribe. Better still, come and join my program and I'll see you in the live coaching room. Thanks traders, see you on the next video.